Well, hey guys, I wanted to welcome to Trekland two guys that are no strangers to where I'm standing, but they haven't been out there. You've seen their faces bopping in and out of pictures and videos, and I want to get this on the record. Two of the pillars of the Farragut community here locally, okay, the guys that swing the hammers, and well, here, here's Sam Rooks and Royal Weaver. Just give them a hand, okay? <laughs> so Sam, Royal, what, I mean, we're here in Kingsland, you guys all live nearby, you know, in... 200 words or less, tell me how you both got sucked in. Sucked in sounds like it's against your will, and I know it wasn't against your will. Well, it's been so long ago that I can't even remember. Uh, I think uh, I've always been interested in filmmaking. Uh -huh. And I think I read an article in the newspaper one day, maybe in Jacksonville, that there was a group of people in Kingsland, Georgia, or actually St. Mary's at that time, um, you know, making some Close Star to the Trek, coast. Yeah, yeah, Star Trek fan films. So I came up and uh, paid them a visit, and uh, they put me to work the day that I came here. Uh -huh. I came up for an interview with, uh, with Holly. Holly Bednar, mm -hmm. and uh, Holly said, well, yeah, mm -hmm. and Holly said, well, if you want to, you can go over there and grab a hammer and go to work now. Because it's a very formal so, process, that interview. Right, right, yeah. right. Well, I mean, I, I think they have to, <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's sort of loose, but, but, if you but walk at the in, same time, they want to make sure that you're compatible well, sure. with, you know, with yeah. what's going on. So. Yeah, and so, you live where? I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, and, uh, 30 miles is, south of here. Yeah, 30 miles up there. I've always been interested in filmmaking, not particularly lighting, although it has been something in the back of my mind, but uh -huh. when I came up here, I got lassoed into, uh, into doing the lighting, and uh, the rest of it's history, and I've been doing that ever since I... Okay, and what year was that? Uh, 2009, maybe? 2010? 2010. Okay. 2010. Now, Roy, you, you, you take your turn, and then I want to uh, get... You used my 200 words, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, each piece. Yeah. Where? I just know they're about to steal you away, Royal, so... Yeah. yeah. I, I, actually, I actually joined uh, back in April 2009. That's the first when uh, Farragut Films decided to make their move down from Washington, D.C., uh -huh. down to St. Mary's. Uh, also, I'd seen it in the paper that they're going to be making some movies and stuff, and I said, you know, that's pretty cool. So um, I was actually their first local volunteer. And you technically live where? I live in St. Mary's. In St. Mary's is down, yeah, between yeah. Kingsland and the coast, just yeah. a few miles down, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so I've been, like I said, I've been with them the longest, uh, and uh, started with them right from the very beginning. And I've met most of your family, I think, or a chunk of them. Uh, yeah, I think you've met all of them, because all of them do something, whether it's transportation, mm -hmm. whether it's painting, whether it's wardrobe, makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only way they get a chance to see me on Saturdays. <laughs> Carson's been a lieutenant or something, and, Carson's I think, been, Carson's and survived been, yep. in her red shirt, in her red skirt. Yep, yep. she's been in, uh, Sear was actually in one of our, uh, oh, that's right. in, a night shift episode. In Farragut, yeah. Yep, yep. for Farragut, so she actually got to be on, uh, on camera, and... And I've even shaved, and, and I've been just a passing moment. <laughs> well, Carson also famously got me on film when I went over to do The Cure at the Applebee's bar That's one morning. Correct. That's yes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so, so you guys, so guys around the country, they've got their weekends, right? They, they watch whatever ball game of the season it is, or they go bowling, or they go work on cars, or whatever. And you guys... Spend your weekends building over here. Star Trek sets. Yeah, building yeah. Star Trek sets. Right, right, right. And, and sometimes it's more than weekends. It's a lot of days and nights. Yeah. Yes. And uh, everything else. It's not just a. It's not just a Saturday thing. Uh, there was someday. I, there was one time I see her thirty days in a row. I think except for Christmas. Because here's what gets me. Because you guys don't exactly look like the old stereotypical. A uh, guy in the basement of his parents' house with the Cheetos dust, you know, and play. I mean, um, you guys almost look like you might have a real life beyond this. So, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm not, I'm not, and I hate to say that, I'm not a Trekkie. Yeah. I'm a Farragut, but I'm not a Trekkie. Yeah. Um, uh, I watched the episodes when I was a, a kid, but I mean, it wasn't. Um, I got to play with submarines, right. and so that right. was more. That was my. That was my spaceship. Was driving submarines for 23 years. Right. So. To me, it's just building. Stuff. We're talking about a little company called the U.S. Navy. Yes, that's yeah, correct. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Just now, a little one. Now, yeah. I do make time for uh, the football and the cars. I like that stuff. Okay. I'm an avid Jaguars fan, uh, even though our team's not really that Are that, they football that great. players? <laughs> yeah. They're really not that great. Really? But, but They go and hang out. Come on, guys. It that's their take, hobby on the weekends? But it does take a while to build a team. Well, guys, I'm going to cut it off here because they're about to shoot. Okay. But I'm glad we at least got to sit down here real quick. If we can keep it here, we'll come back. But if not, I at least got this. But I wanted to talk to you guys and let everybody say hi because you guys make this happen when we're not here in town. So. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, you. good talk, guys. Yeah.